This is my 1v1 build, man. I call him Thanos. As y'all can see, I can break ankles with this build, shoot from deep. Look, I can do any any dribble move in the book. I can do it, baby. Y'all have been asking for this build for the longest, and I am here to give it to y'all. Look, I can get unlimited steals, and I can get you out the way, baby. This is my favorite build I have ever made on 2K24. I really don't want everybody to have it because it is just that OP for the 1v1 court, man. But y'all have been asking and supporting recently, so I'm giving it to y'all, man. I'm giving y'all the sauce. Look what I got, guys. I got Hall of Fame float game, off ball pass gold, spin cycle gold, brick wall on gold, immovable enforcer on Hall of Fame, scooper Hall of Fame, pro touch Hall of Fame, open looks Hall of Fame, mini magician Hall of Fame, agent threes, I got ankle breakers on gold, bulldozer on Hall of Fame, green machine gold, physical handles gold, Workhorse gold, and look at these, bro. Blinders gold, catch and shoot gold, fearless finisher gold, dead eye gold, glove gold, slithery gold, giant slayer, hall of fame, and interceptor on gold, baby. Oh my god. What we have here is the inside the arc score, baby. The inside the arc score. I'm gonna show y'all how to make it exactly. So, yeah, copy everything the exact same, man. It is very important small forward six seven 250 pounds and seven foot wingspan now guys when i tell you i have spent hours upon hours upon hours playing this game and i know what is good and what is not y'all got to believe me man all right but anyways let's get into it we get a 71 close shot and uh we get look fearless finisher on gold giant slayer on hall of fame pro touch on hall of fame man and look, the reason I went with 91 driving layup, guys, is to get slithery on gold. This is gonna be so, this is so good, guys. Slithery is so good. And look what you get. Fearless Finisher, Giant Slayer, Acrobat. You get all of these on gold, bro. Now, the reason I didn't do driving dunk, guys, is because when you do driving dunk on a build, it just completely messes it up. So I went with straight scoop layups and layups bro layups are op in this game when you do nothing but scoops it is unstoppable it is unstoppable you can't nobody can guard it on this game nobody can guard it on this game and when you have hall of fame bulldozer it's unstoppable man but anyways let's go down here to the mid-range the reason i put 92 mid-range shot is for mini magician on hall of fame y'all know i like fading at the mid-range you fade at the mid-range and shoot mid-range shots, you are gonna get takeover fast, and it is, oh my God. Then next we get a 76 three-pointer. The reason I put 76 three-pointer is for agent threes on bronze. That's all you need, guys, that's all you need. What I do is lay it up, and then I do some middies, and then I get takeover, and then it's freaking game over, guys. 76 is all you need for a three-pointer. I'm telling you, 76 is all you need. Next, y'all worried about the pass accuracy. This is for 1v1s only. Now, I have noticed that you can slide with the 57 pass accuracy, but only on the twos. Don't expect to be throwing dots on the threes or fives with this build. It, you can play with this build on the twos also and the one, the ones. That's why I got it at 57, all right? Next, we get 87 ball handle and 75 speed with ball. We get killer combos on silver and speed booster on silver and then we get ankle breaker on gold y'all probably saying is speed booster on silver good yes you get magic johnson dribble styles and you get jamal murray behind the back bro that's all you really need that's all you really need man next is the interior d the reason i went with 82 interior d is so i can get anchor when you get anchor on this game no anchor to bronze anchor it makes a huge difference on the 1v1 court and the reason i went six seven is because you can't get this at any other height six seven and above is when you get anchor guys so yeah this is getting stops in the paint <laughs> nobody is gonna freaking drop step me none of that and the next perimeter d is 85 we get clamps on silver 94 feet on silver this is really really good guys not this is really really good and then and then our still is at 91 man this means you know what this means unlimited stops unlimited steals yes you get unlimited steals with this build baby oh my god this build is so fun to spam square 
it's so fun, bro. It's fun, man. This build is fun. You're gonna, you're gonna get a lot of people mad. And then our block is 77. That is for anchor on bronze, all right? And then uh, this goes up automatically with the other stuff. And then our speed is 81 for speed booster. And then acceleration 74, strength 96. Look, guys, you get a 96 strength. I got brick wall on gold and I have a movable enforcer on hall of fame. That means nobody can bulldozer me. I'm doing the bulldozer in around here, baby. I'm doing the bulldozer in around here. I got a freaking hall of fame bulldozer, baby. Hall of fame bulldozer, man. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Next was our vertical is 51. And then our stamina is a 99. We get shades of Chris Mullen, Mikael Bridges, and Jimmy Butler. As y'all see, we get the inside the arc score, man. And here it is, baby. The Thanos build. It's, this build is amazing. I, I, I can't say enough about this build, man. I really don't want people having this build. I really do not care if you make this build or not. Because this build is so annoying to play against. Like, and the thing about having... Look, the thing about having uh, this right here, the thing about having brick wall, guys, the thing about having brick wall, not a lot of people know this. This is a secret. Not a lot of people know this. Having brick wall on your guard and you're pressing somebody on defense, they lose, the, they drains their energy. When they bump you, it drains their energy. They lose adrenaline bars and people can no longer shoot. So all I got to do is bump people for a couple of times on defense and they can't shoot because they have no energy. So this build is freaking overpowered on the one score. People don't know that about brick wall. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, this is the best build I have made for the one score. It is all around amazing. Make it or not, I don't care because I really don't want to play this build. So if it's up to you to make it. But I'm telling you right now, I am shooting amazing with this build. Breaking ankles, bulldozing people. We, I, Bro, my win percentage on the ones court is probably like a freaking 90 win percentage on the ones court. I get nothing but W's because this build is too overpowered, man. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe. I hooked y'all up, man. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.